Hey guys, I'm going to go over the settings on your TCM for your 8 speed or your 10 speed to get tap shift to work. So I have uh, two files pulled up here. I got, uh, let's see what we have. I believe it's Camaro calibration. Okay, yep, 2020 Camaro TCM. Uh, we're going to go into the trans diagnostics right here. And we're just going to remove a handful of codes. I'll explain those. Um, first one, possibly a P2537. This kind of depends on how your harness powers up and powers down the ECU and TCM. My harnesses usually don't need this, but uh, regardless, it won't hurt anything to set this to no error reported. You would know for sure if you can read your DTCs out of your TCM. If this shows up as one, uh, remove that to no error reported. Just go down a bit. Uh, actually, I won't go too far. Sometimes these need to be set to no error reported. Any that I call them P27 alpha codes. So these are your um, calibration codes for your transmission. So if it's saying it doesn't have the basically the TUN transmission unit identifier stuff loaded up to it, um, this possibly could be uh, tripping codes. Set these to no error. You, you can look at all this. Um, I don't think it goes down this far. I believe it's just, like I said, the 27 alpha codes um, are those, for the calibration codes. All right. Uh, on some of the newer stuff, possibly a P2805. Uh, again, you would know if it's reporting through the HB tuner scanner as an error. Shouldn't have to, but on the second gen transmissions, this sometimes needs to be deleted. We'll scroll on down. Your last two codes. ABS, we no longer have ABS in swaps, so that goes away. Same thing, body control module, we don't have a body control module. So delete those and enjoy your tap shifting um, ability now. One other thing I want to go through, this is very important. I think it will show here, yeah. All right. So there is, the ma our magic is done through CAN bus with the module. We're cloning what the body control module is doing. We're acting as a body control module. So nothing needs to be changed for um, tap shift settings. So do not change any of this stuff. All right. Um, the Camaros will show it this way. Um, the trucks will say it will have tap up, tap down set to disabled. That's actually correct. Do not change anything. Do not change anything. All right. If you want to mess with it later after it works, go for it. But to make this simple and easy, do not change any of your tap shift settings on how it's activated. If it worked in a Camaro, then it will work in your car. If it worked in a truck, it will work in your truck. Do not mess with this stuff. All right. Um, I'm not even going to get into it any more than that, but uh, I, I cannot help out. If these are any of the factory settings are changed here, it will not work just like it would it break it in the real car. So. Do, you know, sometimes, you know, we have common sense and we would think tap up, tap down would need to be set to enabled. Nope. That's not how GM did it on the trucks. So uh, just leave it exactly the way it is. And um, after it works and you want to try to do some magic, like um, have it shift automatically at red line in tap shift mode, go for it. But for now, just make sure everything works and then start messing with it. And then, you know, if you break it. All right. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.